Here, we'll take a look at how easy it is to set up and configure your iDigg X4 starter kit. After you unpack your kit, you'll find the ConnectPort X4 gateway, an XP module with a USB development board, an XP wall router, and an XP sensor. First, we'll start with setting up the ConnectPort X4 gateway by attaching the Zigbee antenna and then connecting the gateway to an Ethernet port that's connected to the Internet. You'll want to connect your PC to the same local network so that you can access both the gateway and the Internet. Then we will connect power to the gateway using the supplied AC adapter. Now on the PC, we can access the iDigi platform by navigating to www.idigi.com. Here you'll want to select the iDigi platform login button. Now we'll be prompted to log into the iDigi platform. Here you'll want to click on the new user link and register if you haven't done so already. Once you register, you'll be emailed information on logging into the iDigi platform. First, we'll want to add our gateway to the Devices tab. By clicking on the plus icon, the system will automatically scan for any Digi devices that are connected to your local network. Now we can go to the web user interface for the gateway by clicking on this globe icon. When you're in the web UI, click on Remote Management, and we're going to enable the management connection up to iDigi. Here we'll click on Enable Remote Management and enter the server address, and also select Automatically Reconnect to the server after being disconnected. Then click Apply. Now we can reboot the gateway to enable the changes we have made. Once the device is rebooted, we'll be brought back to the main page of the web UI, and then we can click on the Connections link. Here we should see that we have a TCP connection up to the management platform. Then if we go back to the iDigi tab and click Reload, we'll see that our gateway is now connected to the iDigi platform. Now you can select your device and click Launch iDigi Device Manager. When the iDigi Device Manager starts, you can log in with your iDigi username and password, and you'll get a list of your connected devices. You will then be able to configure your devices no matter where they are located in the world. The next step will be to add the other devices in the kit to our iDigi network. First, we can set up the XB module and USB development board by placing the XB module on the board and attaching the dipole antenna. Be sure that you have already downloaded and installed the USB driver for the XB development board before connecting it to your PC. There are a number of status LEDs on the development board. This fast blinking light means that the development board is associated with the gateway. Next, we can install the XB wall router by simply plugging it into any standard wall socket. Again, the blinking light will show that the wall router has associated with the network. You can add the XB sensor to the network by removing the backplate and adding three AA batteries. Because this is a battery-operated device, it may not immediately associate with the network like the other devices did. Using a paperclip, you can press the recess button on the side of it to wake it up. Pressing the button four times will cause the XB sensor to search for and associate with the network. Now we'll return to the web UI and verify that all of our devices are associated by clicking on XB Network. We can also go back to the iDigi Device Manager and select the Mesh tab. The system will refresh with the list of Zigbee nodes on the network. Now we can download the iDigi DS software found on the iDigi platform screen and then unzip the files into a new folder on the PC. In the Explorer window you can select the Demos folder and then the green Getting Started directory and then edit the configuration file using your preferred text editor. In the configuration file, you will find a series of addresses for all the devices included in the kit. These addresses start with the line Extended Address. We will need to find and change the addresses for the XP module, the wall router, and the sensor. If we open the web UI, we can copy the extended address for each device into the appropriate locations in the configuration file. Now we can open a command prompt and redirect to the folder where we unzip the iDigiDia software. We build the custom iDigidea application by invoking Python, which should already be installed on your PC. We have a file called make.py, and then we give it a path to that configuration file. This will run for a moment, and then when it completes, it will show that it has written this dia.zip file. Now we can go back to the web UI and select the Python link in the left navigation and upload the files from the iDigidea installation. First, we can select the dia.py file from the root iDigidea folder and then we can upload dia.zip which is found in the bin directory. Once both of those files are uploaded, we can open another command prompt, telnet over to the gateway and start the application. Just type in the address of the ConnectPortX gateway and then enter python dia.py. This will open the dia.py file that we uploaded previously. You can watch as the system loads, you will see debug messages that tell us what is happening on the XB network, such as which settings are being configured and what devices are running. Once that application finishes running, we can go back to the web browser and bring up the web presentation for iDigiDia by typing in the IP address, followed by iDigi underscore Dia. 
Now we can see the readings from the two sensor devices, along with the status of the LEDs on the development board. To test this in real time, you can simply press any of the buttons on the XB development board, and you will see on the web interface that those button status indicators change. Alternatively, you can click on the state of the three LEDs in the web interface, and you will then see those LEDs change on the board itself. All of the sensor data is also being relayed up to the iDigi platform. We can access that XML data quite easily by clicking on the Data tab in the iDigi platform. Here we will select our device, click Green Demo, and then select any of the sample XML files. For more information on configuring your network, see the Getting Started Guides on www.idigi.com. You're well on your way to developing your own unique application.